Hello, I'm Harry. Today, I'll introduce to you the movie about a seven-year-old who picked up a strange egg and accidentally summoned a giant beast, the water horse. The story took place in a remote fishing village during World War II. Angus McMorrow's family had lived here for their whole life. His father took part in World War II and hadn't come back yet. There were rumors spreading around that his father died on the battlefield long ago. Speaking of Angus, he was born into a rich family. They had a small villa and hired a lot of workers. During his childhood, he hadn't been lacking anything. There was only one thing that bugged him. He didn't have any friends. He was very lonely. He was born into a rich family and lived by the sea, but he couldn't swim at all. When he was young, while playing with water, he almost drowned in the sea, so he had developed a fear of water. Up to now, he was still ridiculed by his classmates. But soon, Angus's life had ushered in a turning point. One day, when Angus was walking on the shore, he accidentally picked up a strange egg. What was this? Driven by curiosity, Angus brought it back to his secret laboratory. He opened the egg with a knife. There was something inside. It was blue. Angus was startled. He ran out. In the evening, it rained heavily. Angus was not at ease. He came back to the lab and found the creature in the strange egg had climbed out. Looking at the poor little water monster, Angus also had compassion. He even found some food to feed the little monster. That was it. The two little guys sympathized with each other. Crusoe soon became his best friend. On the other side, because of the war, Angus's house was forcibly requisitioned as a temporary command post. The leading general fell in love with Angus's mother at first sight, but Angus didn't care about him. At the moment, all he had in mind was Crusoe. But problems soon arose. The growth rate of Crusoe was too fast. He didn't seem to get enough food. The family soon discovered Angus' little secret, but fortunately, they were kind and didn't say anything about Crusoe. However, Crusoe was a monster after all. He would return to the sea sooner or later. Despite the reluctance of Angus, they had to part. Finally, Crusoe was brought back to the sea. A few months later, Angus came to the shore again and called out Crusoe's name. He didn't expect him to appear, but standing in front of Angus was a big monster tens of meters high. Obviously, the food in nature was enough for him. The two friends reunited in happiness. Their intimacy was still. After that, Crusoe also made Angus overcome his fear of water and taught him to swim. On the other side, the rumor of a monster also spread in the town. Many people wanted to catch it and made money out of it. The soldiers stationed here even deliberately fired into the water. Angus was afraid that the bullets would hurt Crusoe, so he rushed forward to stop the soldier. However, he was reprimanded by the general. Angus's mother alienated the general. That night, many soldiers were called up to sail a boat over the sea to hunt down Crusoe. But obviously, they couldn't defeat a monster. Just a few seconds later, Crusoe overturned their boat. The moment the soldiers were about to be eaten, Angus arrived in time to stop Crusoe. At this time, Angus's mother saw Crusoe for the first time. She couldn't believe her eyes. After hearing the news, the soldiers not far away thought it was a German submarine coming. They threw a bomb into the sea. Seeing the situation get out of hand, Angus quickly got on Crusoe and fled to the sea. The soldiers pulled up a big net. Angus knew it was time to say goodbye, so he got off into the water. Crusoe jumped. With all his strength, he jumped over the net and headed for the sea. Angus looked at him. His only friend was finally free. He also smiled happily. At the end of the movie, there was another little boy. He also found a strange egg. The story would continue. That was the end of the movie. I'm Harry. I'll see you next time.